Parker McCollum joins us. Finally got a handle. Finally got a handle on you. I mean, how great is this song? Oh, thank you, uh, man. I, I <laughs> thank think you for singing, or the or uh, or the compliment. Uh, man, both. Okay, both. Um, <laughs> no, it's. Uh, I'm just glad that it's doing well, man. It's always uh, um, nice to write a song and really like it and other people like it too that makes it a lot easier you have and i don't know whether you set out to do this or not you seem like a guy that just wants to write really good songs but you have these soaring melodies uh you know it's not like there's orchestra playing behind you or anything but these soaring hooks as we like to call them do you set out to make your songs really melodic or is that just kind of uh how you write yeah, melody is just so important for me. I really don't care about writing until I have a melody that I'm obsessed with. And, you know, once I find a melody that I just can't stop singing and want to keep playing over and over on the guitar, that's when I start to formulate lines and try to string something together. And, you know, a lot of, it's, it's kind of different. A lot of these writers in Nashville, you know, have a title and then they write to that title. And I just kind of create a melody and then just freestyle ramble over the melody until something sounds cool. Oh, and wow. That'll kind of be the first line of the song, and maybe it's in a verse or a hook or whatever, um, but it's it's worked so far. Well, I think the line of the year in the song is about how, you know, you're not going to take advice from drunks, but but you're the drunk that you're referring to in the song. I tell myself uh, I should quit, but I don't listen to drunks. Yeah, I mean, and I, I heard that for the first time, just like the fence post a few years ago, and thought, Man, what a clever, clever line. Did you write that lyric or mm -hmm. you wrote that lyric? Yes, sir. So so you won't ever take advice from yourself uh, 3 a.m. Uh, uh, in Vegas, On right? On a bender, no, sir. <laughs> probably, probably best to seek advice elsewhere. <laughs> so New Artist of the Year, ACMs, you win. You're up for New Artist of the Year at the CMAs. Does it have to be the double for you to be the true artist of the year? And do you think you'll win? And is it a real big deal to you to win this thing? Um, you know, I think it's it's a big deal, just the, the magnitude of being nominated is such an honor. You know, I mean, you grew up watching the award shows and all of a sudden you're on them and it's a super cool thing, really surreal. Um, but my cat, the category is just so stacked. That, and, and it's, you know, four other artists that I have a lot of respect for and, I, and they all deserve it 100%. Nobody, whoever wins it deserves it. Like, it's, it's definitely a toss-up. Um, but it'd just be a shame if, if one of them didn't win it because they really, all of them are just on top of the world right now. I was talking to your manager, Enzo, and he said one of the things that uh, he was so surprised at from you from the beginning is how much of a gentleman you are. And at first, you know, people might think, well, it's an act. He's just being nice to the people he needs to be nice to. But, but, well, wait Certainly a second. Certainly that, too. I mean, sorry, you got to. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Sorry about that. I opened it up, but the fact that you went in there makes you even better. Uh, but I see you do this all the time. You take your hat off when you, when you meet somebody, when you meet a woman. Uh, you hold doors. I, I know you're obviously madly in love. And you're kind of a throwback to that kind of guy who uh, treats a woman, at least it appears to be, the way that women and men really should be treated. Man, I, I just uh, was raised uh, to have great manners. And that was a big thing uh, in my house as a kid. And uh, something that I really kind of wish would, would be taken more seriously, I think, and would help the world a lot if yeah. people just had better manners. Um, and my kid, when I have kids, like, I mean, if it's yes, sir, or you ain't going to eat, you know? <laughs> um, so that's just something I think is really important. And, and uh, I've just, when I was a kid, my parents would tell me, you know, manners are open, good manners are open more doors than anything else. And so it just kind of became, it's the only way that I know how to speak to people. Um, and so I'd like to, I, I wish it wasn't such a um, surprise. <laughs>